This lesson covers backing up, importing, and using starter group policy objects. If I navigate to the group policy objects node in my navigation, I can right click on a group policy object and say backup. This allows me to specify a location for my backup. I'll just create a new folder called GPO backup and a description. It's now created a backup of that group policy object. I could back up all of my group policy objects. I can restore from a backup or even import settings. So an import settings enables us to take another group policy object and import it over the existing object. It shows me the group policy objects that are backed up into that folder. It's going to show me if there's any problems and then clicking finish would import and overwrite that group policy object. So this is very useful if I have maybe different domains and I don't want to cross link group policy objects. I can create that group policy object in one domain, back it up, pop it over and then import it into my other domains. On a similar thread, I may have the requirement to create different group policy objects at different organizational units. I may have delegated permission, for example, in the Justice League, I go to delegation, I can control who is allowed to link group policy objects. I can control who's allowed to do those analysis. And I can even control at the group policy objects level who's actually allowed to create group policy objects in the domain themselves. So I'm going to restrict who can create the group policy objects. Maybe I create my own set of group policy objects and then delegate who's allowed to link them, manage them at OU levels. But perhaps I do actually let them create their own group policy objects. But a starter GPO enables me to create some base group policy objects with a majority of the settings. And then each of those different OU administrators can maybe customize it to their exact requirements. So I can create my own starter GPOs and then can fill that in. And a number of built in ones are supplied as part of the operating system. So these are just a good way to give a head start for creating future group policy objects. And you can actually save those out or load them in, again, moving them between different domains. And perhaps even you're going to create a starter GPO as part of your own software, for example. You could then ship that out and give it to your customers. To use a starter GPO, you just right click on it and say new GPO from that starter, give it a name, and it will now create that new group policy object. This concludes the lesson on backing up and importing group policy objects and using starter GPOs.